Life's full of ups and downs, but there are moments so unbelievably awesome you just can't help but say, hey, I might just be the luckiest person in the world. That's certainly the case for the people coming up. So without further ado, here are the luckiest moments ever recorded. Next up, an inspiring story dating back to the First World War. Someone's great-grandfather got shot in the chest by a German soldier. I know what you're thinking, how is that his luckiest day? Because he was saved in the luckiest way imaginable. In his breast pocket were coins that absorbed the bullet impact. Life is priceless, but in this case, it only cost some loose change. Here's evidence of a real-life Spider-Man. This guy collided with the car in front of him on his motorcycle, but the impact forced his body to go up in the air, make a complete flip, and safely land on the roof of the car. If there's one thing people all around the world equally hate, it's traffic. What should be an hour of driving turns to three hours of wasted time and energy. But not in this guy's case. Somehow, all of the traffic lights turned green, and I'm pretty sure he got the most punctual award that day. Best day ever? Well, if you're this guy, you'd want to treasure this memory for the rest of your life. No other guy showed up to his hot tub party, but that's not his loss. In fact, he just won the teenage male lottery by getting to chill, or should I say warm up, with all of these ladies. Maybe he'll grow up in the footsteps of Hugh Hefner. Thank you, technology. If this guy wasn't wearing any safety glasses, then the exploding angle grinder disc would have easily sliced his eye. That's a grim sight, and he'd also have lost his sense of sight if that happened. As always, safety first. I get it, multitasking isn't hard for you. But then again, should you really browse Facebook while taking a whiz? If you need a warning, here's one. Thankfully for the guy, it fell in the most convenient way possible. I think he's learned his lesson though. If you're thirsty this summer, there's no better way to hydrate than a slice of watermelon. And this one is the best of them all. Just look closely. There's barely any seeds or rind, which means you get more of the red, juicy, and sweet goodness. I'm not saying you should always wait five minutes before closing time to buy a donut or two, but it's definitely a tempting offer. This guy just wanted a couple of donuts, but the store had enough remaining dough to create a massive donut. Is this what you call a family-sized donut? Do you love chocolate? How about Kit Kat? What if we told you that there are rare Kit Kats out there without the wafer itself? Yep, this one is made of pure chocolate goodness. If you have a sweet tooth, this is paradise itself. We all know about those two-for-one promos, but what if you could get three drinks for the price of one? This isn't exactly a promotional sale, but it looks like the fundamental laws of physics sided with this guy when he went to this vending machine. Fish sticks are pretty delicious, and more is definitely the merrier. Instead of just 18 sticks, someone got 20 of them. Is this a case of false advertising? Yep. Should you be mad? Only if you don't like fish sticks. Imagine this, you've got a huge delivery to make in an hour. Right in front of you is a tunnel that doesn't seem big enough to fit your truck. What do you do? Well, if you're this man, you go YOLO. Luckily for him, his truck just managed to fit in the tunnel. Oh, Apple, that lucrative company with the overpriced iPhones and iMacs. But wait, what if I told you there's a way to get an iMac for cheap? The condition, patience, and sheer luck. Someone managed to find a fully working iMac for, get this, 20 bucks at a thrift store. Ah, winter. While the cold weather is good for a hot cup of chocolate, cleaning up all the snow on one's roof can be so tiring. But it looks like this guy found the solution. Somehow, Accidentally, he cleared all the snow without getting hurt. This guy and his pal just wanted to show off their snowboarding skills. And it looks like he created a new trick. It's called trip and fall down with a 360 degree turn. And I'm honestly going to give him a 10 out of 10 for the shock value alone. If you're working at an office, one of the most satisfying tasks is to shred all the excess paper documents. But one guy realized he needed one crucial piece of information from a single receipt. Usually, that would take hours to find, and it might even be impossible if the information is cut up into separate chunks. Thankfully, the shredder didn't tear up what he needed to take note of, and he found it straight away. 
Have you ever heard of the Crater of Diamond State Park? It's located in Arkansas, and the best thing about going there is that you get to keep any and all of the stones you can find. For a woman named Clark, she found a 3.69 carat white diamond. Is this the best stroll in the park ever? Absolutely. Let's talk about ice cream. Yes, it's delicious, but it gets annoying when it starts to melt and your hands get all sticky. Luckily for this guy, the ice cream store he went to found a practical solution, mini marshmallows. Now there won't be any ice cream leaking at the bottom, plus a free marshmallow. Cleaning an old piano at a community college isn't particularly exciting, but this isn't your ordinary piano find. 61-year-old piano technician Martin Blackhouse found nearly a thousand coins dating all the way back to as far as 1847 inside one of the pianos he was restoring, and they were made of gold and silver. Museums can legally acquire them, but Martin got his share as well. Winning the lottery once is already considered lucky, but what if you won it 20 times in a single day? This woman got a ticket with all 20 scratch items amounting to $4,000. She didn't win millions, but the odds were surely in her favor. Football and beer, two of our greatest pastimes. A guy just wanted to enjoy his alcohol, but got so much more. He found the golden beer. What does that mean? Oh, nothing much. Just free Super Bowl tickets for a lifetime, thanks to a Bud Light promotion. A middle-aged couple was just walking their dog in their rural property in Northern California when they stumbled upon eight cans of rare gold coins buried around an old tree. The total value of these coins? A whopping $11 million. Let's hope our dogs can lead us to a million-dollar treasure as well. Maybe the iMac from earlier isn't a piece of tech you want, so what about an old and beloved Leica camera? This gorgeous product was on sale for, get this, $5. Leica cameras can easily go beyond $1,000 a piece, so that is a massive find. Going to the park to read a book is incredibly therapeutic. As for this lad, he was enjoying his huge book on the diversity of birds when the actual bird described on the page he was viewing landed right on it. Looks like the bird wanted to do some bird watching as well. Ah, uh, basketball. This guy shot too high, but the ball hit all the right places to land where it should. Now that's a lucky shot. How about baseball? A man went to his aunt's place to help her clear out the attic. As he was cleaning the area, he found some very old and very rare collectible baseball cards dating back to the 1950s. All in all, these cards totaled a million dollars. Oyster is cheap, yet delicious. But what if the oyster contains something more valuable? Philip Priest bought his wife six oysters worth 49 pennies each. His wife Terry then found a pearl in one of those oysters. With the help of her peers, she got a new pearl ring worth 500 pounds. Steve Flagg had been searching for many years for his biological mother. One day, he miraculously found her, working as a cashier at the same store he worked at. Somehow, the two people treated each other as mere co-workers for several months, only to find out that they shared the same blood once Steve requested background information from the agency that arranged his adoption. Here's an even crazier family reunion. Two men, Walter McFarlane and Alan Robinson, had been friends for more than six decades. McFarlane wanted to find his birth father, so he took a DNA ancestry test. The surprising result? His best friend is actually his long-lost brother. Up next is a story of survival and triumph. A 25-year-old soldier wanted to flee from North Korea, and he managed to do so, but South Korean doctors had to perform surgery on him due to a parasitic infection. Now, one of his dreams was to taste choco pie once again, so the company Orion Confectionery gave him 100 boxes of his favorite snack for free. Here's another moment of courage and sheer luck. A man from Puerto Rico needed to have a life-saving transplant in Dallas, Texas. However, Hurricane Maria was already wreaking havoc and the airport was in chaos. Then, one of the airline employees helped him out and got him his ticket. If this happened any later, he wouldn't have had his transplant. There's nothing worse than dropping your keys down a storm drain. Luckily for this guy, they somehow got stuck just between the railings. Upon looking down, he must have breathed the biggest sigh of relief. In Sweden, a couple had lost hope in finding their long-lost wedding ring. It was lost way back in 1995, but Lena Paulson got the surprise of her life when she found it 16 years later, attached to a small carrot she harvested from their family garden. It had grown through the ring. 
Virginia Fike from Virginia bought a couple of lottery tickets one day and used the numbers of her parents' anniversary and their ages when they got married. As it turns out, she made the right decision. Two of her tickets got her a million dollars each. Secret Santa occurs each year on Reddit. Basically, strangers buy each other presents for Christmas. For a woman named Alicia, she managed to get none other than Microsoft founder and billionaire philanthropist Bill Gates as her Secret Santa. She received a letter, a donation made in her name, and 12 gifts ranging from Zelda mittens to special edition Xbox One controllers. Frayne Selleck has lived a life of risk, amounting to seven dangerous incidents, such as a bus crash and a train wreck but he's always survived. So after 40 years of not having bought a lottery ticket, he decided to buy one. The heavens must have been watching because he won a million dollars at the age of 76. Nichiren was a Japanese Buddhist who lived a prominent life in the 12th century. He was ordered to be executed by the authorities. However, as Nichiren was about to get beheaded, lightning hit the sword and killed the executioner. His execution was halted and he managed to live for several more years. Finally, this is undoubtedly the most amazing and luckiest event ever. A 62-year-old man known as Edwin E. Robinson was struck by lightning in 1980. He was not only deaf, but also blind. He lived because he wore rubber-soled shoes, but the most extraordinary thing here is that the lightning restored his sight and hearing. Nature truly is phenomenal. So if you feel like you're having a bad day, just think of the better days to come. Don't lose hope, because luck will always find its way. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll love the video I just made over at Question King about how heavy the internet is. Click the screen now to watch it. I know, it's kind of a pointless question, but the answer is really surprising. So make sure to find out so you can impress the ladies next time you're the only guy in a hot tub.